Hey, what's up, guys? This is the best, and in this video, I'm going to show you how you can install the Open Beta 1 Android 11 on OnePlus 7 and 7T series. Well, finally, we have Android 11 for the OnePlus 7 as well, and recently, Mi A3 also got the Android 11 update. But now, finally, we have Android 11 update for the OnePlus 7. So, in this video, I'm going to review the ROM first, then I'm going to talk about the installation part. So, watch this video till end because I'm going to show you lots of things. Well, yesterday just the ROM got released and I installed the ROM, I shoot the video and everything and I haven't got the chance to uh, completely explore the uh, Android 11 with the OnePlus 7 but this is what I found, this is uh, what I'm going to show you is the first uh, hands-on experience with this ROM. Well, this is the first look of this ROM and after installing here you can see the cosmetic changes with the ui and all and notification panel well i'm gonna only talk about the cosmetic changes in this video now here you can see that in the settings menu uh, they did lots of cosmetic changes uh here we'll get everything in the cards like section like they merge the wi-fi and the bluetooth in the same panel then then they merge the display cosmetic and uh, i mean customization and other thing in the other other panel well here, I think you have new feature uh, called Vision Comfort. I don't remember whether we have this Vision Comfort in the uh, previous Android 10 or not. But here you have Vision Comfort where you can change the color temperature. Apart from that, inside this dark mode option, here you get option to choose application. Uh, you can manage individual application uh, for the dark mode and you can turn literally any application in dark mode. I turn Amazon into dark mode and which is working perfectly fine. Then here inside this ambient display here, finally you have horizon light. Now finally horizon light is there in OnePlus 7 device also. Previously people are installing a custom ROM for this only feature but now you have officially this feature. Then here you have canvas like feature like uh, in this feature you can set your wallpaper and turn it into a canvas like thing. So that's a pretty cool nice feature I'll definitely try. I haven't tried. Then here in the sounds and vibration, nothing new. All the things remain same at all. Then same with the button and gesture and applications and other menu. No new cosmetic changes even and everything remains uh, totally same. Well, in case of I miss something, then please let me know in the comment section. Apart from that, uh, security in lock screen, privacy, location, everything remains same. But here inside this battery option, here you will get option to uh, nearby find the nearby charging station uh, well you have to grant the location access to use this feature I think in this feature you'll uh, have option to charge your mobile with the nearby one plus station I don't know what it is exactly but that's a pretty nice thing uh, then here you have uh, storage and the cloud and the other thing which is the same but here inside this utility again you have work-life balance Apart from that, here in the system option, uh, no major changes, everything remains same. But here you can see that we are on the open beta 1. Um, then you talk about about phone section. Here you will get pretty nice clean op, uh, menu kind of thing. Then here our Android 11. Now this is our power menu, emergency power and the restart at the top. Uh, go on plus launcher, your favorite contacts called histories then context menu, uh, then your messaging application, then your camera application. I think there's little bit changes with the camera application also. Then here you have photos and collection and all. Actually, this is your gallery. Now let's talk about the installation part. The device I'm using is OnePlus 7, but the method which I'm gonna show you will gonna work with all OnePlus 7 and the 7T series. So don't worry about that. Uh, just make sure if you are using the OnePlus 7T or the 7T Pro, you must take backup of your data before flashing because this ROM will gonna wipe your device completely in case of OnePlus 7T and 7T Pro. But with OnePlus 7, it's okay. Uh, you can skip the backup part. I still recommend you to take a backup of your device before flashing any ROM. Now, first of all, you guys have to download the ROM file. So I'm gonna put link in the description so you can go there and download your respected room well if you don't know about the oxygen os updater application well you can use the oxygen os updater application to update your room uh if you are rooted device then you can install this uh, oxygen os updater and you can update your room well if you don't know about this uh, application you can skip the part uh then 
uh, if you receive the OTA, you can easily upgrade your device. Now here you can see that I have also received the OTA, but I'm not gonna uh, show you the OTA installation part. I'm gonna show you the different method which will gonna work for every device. Now after downloading your ROM, your download file will be saved in the download folder inside your uh, internal storage. Now you just have to copy or the cut this file inside your internal storage. Make sure you need to paste this file inside your internal storage. Then just hold this file like this. Then go to rename and remove uh, .jr from the end. Make sure to remove this file, uh, this .jr extension. Make sure, but there is .jdip at the end uh, only then this ROM file will gonna reflect in your system update section now you have to go to system update now you need to click on this gear icon at the top right corner now here you can see the option to click uh, option for local upgrade just click on that and here you will find the ROM file now you just need to select it and click on install now it will start installing your ROM. The first reboot of your ROM may take up to few minutes. So don't worry about that. Let it completely install and then click on reboot and it will uh, reboot your device and you will be on Android 11. And please make sure to check out the comment section because I'm going to reply all your comments, all your doubts. If you have any doubts, you can also ask me on comment section. You can contact me on the Instagram and all. And if you have any doubts regarding the installation, please let me know. Apart from that, if you want to talk about the routing part of this Android 11, I'm going to make a video on that very soon. Uh, so stay tuned for that. Make sure to subscribe our channel. You can also check our other OnePlus videos. So guys, this is the page signing out. Meet you soon in next video.